George Carlin. Life is worth losing. Baby. Is it though? I don't know. We about to find out. Is dumb Americans. Dumb, I know. Dumb Americans. Dumb Americans. You know, because I know that the people. Oh, the, 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 For some reason, every country that doesn't like America be exercising their right to let every American know they dumb. All right. <laughs> I don't but know why. Say what you want about America, land of the free, home of the brave. We got some dumb is floating around this country. Gonna have to edit dumb that. Ass you know? yeah. I'm gonna have to edit that. My bad. <laughs> Now, obviously, that doesn't include this audience. I understand that. You seem intelligent and perceptive, but the rest of them, holy jumping f balls. Dumber than a second coat of paint. And this ain't just ranting and raving. This ain't just blowing off steam. I got a little evidence to support my claim. It just seems to me, seems to me, that only a really low IQ population could have taken this beautiful continent this magnificent American landscape that we inherited. Well, actually, we stole it from the Mexican <laughs> Indians, but... I was about to say. Hey, it was nice when we stole it. It looked pretty good. It was pristine. Paradise. Have you seen it lately? Have you taken a good look at it lately? It's fucking embarrassing. Only a nation of unenlightened half-wits could have taken this beautiful place and turned it into what it is today, a shopping mall. <laughs> a big f***ing shopping mall. You know that? That's fair. That's all you got. That's all you've got here, folks. Mile after mile of mall after mall. Many, many malls. Major malls and mini malls. They put the mini malls in between the major malls. And in between the mini malls, they put the mini marts. And in between the mini marts, you got the car lots, gas stations, muffler shops, laundromats, cheap hotels, fast food joints, strip clubs, and dirty bookstores. America the Beautiful, one big transcontinental commercial cesspool. And how do the people feel about all this? How do the people feel about living in a coast-to-coast -coast shopping mall? Well, they think it's just dandy they think it is cool as can he's not lying though <laughs> he's not lying though especially out here man west coast is boy i'm talking everything is big box they're gonna get their money i feel it just dandy they think it is cool as can be, because Americans love them all. They love them all. That's where they get to satisfy their two most prominent addictions at the same time, shopping and eating. Millions of semi-conscious Americans, day after day, shuffling through the malls, shopping and eating, especially eating. Americans love to eat. They are, they are fatally attracted to the slow death of fast food. Hot dogs, corn dogs, triple bacon, cheeseburgers, deep fried butter dipped in pork fat and cheese whiz, mayonnaise soaked, barbecued mozzarella, patty melts. Americans will eat anything. Wait, was that the original beans, greens, beans, Oh, no, but I was f***ing with it. I was like... <laughs> you just gonna have to make me edit more, I feel like. Pork fat and cheese whiz, mayonnaise soaked, barbecued mozzarella, patty melts. Americans will eat anything, anything, anything. If you were selling sautéed raccoons assholes on a stick... <laughs> Americans would buy them and eat them. Yes, they would. Especially if you dipped them in butter and put a little salsa on them. <laughs> this country is big time, big time. Forget the bald eagle. You know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? A big bowl of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> a big bowl, because everything in this country is king size. King size, extra large, and super jumbo. Especially the fucking people. Have you seen some of the Fresh off Bill Burr, Fat Kids, and it was around the exact same time because it was 2005 when Katrina happened, or yeah, six. Lost that's Fat common. Kids around that time. Or <laughs> People in this country, have you taken a good look at some of these big fat motherfuckers walking around? Big fat mother. He just gotta say it twice. Oh my he? God! Huge piles of redundant protoplasm lumbering through the malls like a fleet of interstate buses. The people in this country are immense, massive bellies, monstrous thighs, and big fat f***ing asses. Damn. And if you st <laughs> How many times you want to edit that? Ain't nothing wrong with your little fat butt, though. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you know what I mean? That's all.
maybe. <laughs> These monstrous thighs and big fat asses. And if you stand there for a minute and you look at one of them, you look at one of them, you, you, you begin to wonder, how does this woman take a shit? <laughs> how does she shit? And even more frightening, how does she wipe her ass? They bigger now, George. Can she even locate her asshole? She must require assistance. Are paramedics trained in this field? And standing right next to her, of course, with a plate full of nachos and a mouthful of pie is her clueless fucking husband, Joe Sixpack. With his monstrous swollen beer belly hanging dangerously out over his belt, beer belt buckle, this guy ain't seen his dick since the Nixon administration. <laughs> And if you stand there and you look at the two of them, you begin to wonder to yourself, do these people f <laughs> Is this man actually capable of f***ing this woman? It doesn't seem structurally possible right. that possible. these two people could achieve penetration. Oh. Maybe they're in that Cirque du Soleil or something. I'm telling you, the people in this country uh, every half, of, every, every one of them is 50 pounds overweight. They are gargantuan. Yeah. And in the summertime, God help us. In the summertime, they all want to wear short pants. Jesus, Lord, protector of all that is good and holy, <laughs> deliver me from fat people in short pants. They all got short pants, big bellies, fat thighs, and dumb kids. Short pants, big bellies, fat thighs, and dumb kids. Every one of them's got two dumb He's ass gonna kids make with a them. Rap. And the whole family is wearing t-shirts, and every one of them's got the same t-shirt. I'm with stupid. <laughs> Apparently in this country, the stupids are an extended family. And besides wearing them t-shirts, everyone in the family's got on a backpack. They got a backpack strapped to their back so they can carry around lots of stupid shit. And the reason they gotta carry their stupid shit strapped to their backs is because their hands must remain free at all times to hold food. And to get that food up to the mouth where it gets shoveled in with all the rest of the disgusting shit they ate that day. And another reason for the backpacks is these people are gonna buy even more stupid shit. They ain't got enough stupid shit at home. They just had a stupid shit sale. They ain't gonna buy more. <laughs> They're gonna go out in the parking lot and stuff this stuff into the big, fat, ugly, oversized SUV that's got plenty of room in it. Plenty of room in it for stupid shit and lots of room left over for these big, fat, ugly motherfuckers to get them home. Stopping, of course, for jelly roll and fried dough. These people, these people are efficient, professional, oh compulsive God. consumers. It's their civic duty, consumption. It's the new national pastime, f baseball. It's consumption. <laughs> The only true, lasting American value that's left, buying things, buying things. People spending money they don't have on things they don't need. Money they don't have on things they don't need so they can max out their credit cards and spend the rest of their life. Boy, he be, he be rapping like he's preaching. Like when he doubled down, he's like, yeah, he sound like he talking to somebody's soul. Need. Money they don't have. <laughs> have on things they don't need so they can max out their credit cards and spend the rest of their lives paying 18 percent interest on something that costs 1250 and they didn't like it when they got it home anyway not too bright folks not too fucking bright but if you talk to one of them about this if you isolate one of them you sit them down rationally and you talk to them about the low iqs and the dumb behavior and the bad decisions right away they start talking about education that's the big answer to everything education they said, we need more money for education. We need more, more, more books, more teachers, more classrooms, more schools. Uh, we need more testing for the kids. And you say to them, well, you know, we've tried all of that, and the kids still can't pass the test. He says, oh, don't you worry about that. We're going to lower the passing grades. And that's what they do in a lot of these schools now. They yeah. lower the passing grades so more kids. That Everybody is true. gets a medal, facts. Yeah. You can, you can, yeah. It's... What did I say the other day? That, that school, there was a school district that changed their failing grade to 46%. I said, oh, bro. But I wonder, what? does that have to do with, like, evo like us evolving? And, like, is our brains just... Um... Or are we just not caring? Or are we just, like, nah. well, they gotta lower the, the bar every so many years? No, nah, I kind of think people just realize that curriculum doesn't matter as much as they did at one time. So, like, people kind of... I see both sides of the coin because now I think it's easier to make money than it was before and also to be an entrepreneur than it was before. And there's a lot of things that people can do independently to make money where you don't need education the same way you did at another point in time. But I kind of think like, I'm not going to say people aren't as smart now, 
the younger generation. I feel like they are, but I feel like their focuses are different. You know, I feel like older generations of people were more focused on marriage and family and the household. And now I think younger generations are kind of thinking more selfishly. Like, I don't think people are having kids as young. I don't think people are getting married as young. And I kind of think that's smart. You know what I mean? So I, I think, like, it's good and bad, you know? I don't think people are getting married young. Do you think people getting married young? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. And having kids, especially the kids part. People definitely trying to have kids, like, young. Man. What young I- as in, like, early 20s, mid-20s. I mean, maybe that, but, like, my generation was having kids. Like, literally, our generation had uh, uh, teen mom. The, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that was a television. Like, I graduated in 2010, and she graduated in 2009. And that was the b- most popular thing on TV was teen, uh, whatever it was, a teen mom or whatever it's called. And it's like, my whole high school was over full daycare because so many girls had kids, had multiple kids in high school. But, like, now, I feel like, like, my brother's 22, and, and... there, I don't think anybody in his high school had kids. But he also didn't go to a ghetto high school. <laughs> but that's just... That is true. Yeah. Kids can pass. More kids pass. The school looks good. Everybody's happy. The IQ of the country slips another two or three points. And pretty soon, all you'll need to get into college is a fucking pencil. <laughs> Got a pencil? Basically. Get the fuck in there. It's physics. Right. Then everyone wonders why 17 other countries graduate more scientists than we do. Education! Politicians know that word, they use it on you. Politicians have traditionally hidden behind three things. The flag, the Bible, and children. No child left behind. No child left behind. That's George Bush. George Bush was no child left behind. He was the one that made them standardized tests when we was in school and we had to do all that. And Yeah, that was him. That's crazy. It's 2005. Bible and children. No child left behind. No child left behind. Oh, really? Well, it wasn't long ago you were talking about giving kids a head start. Head start, yep. left behind. Someone's losing fucking ground here. <laughs> but there's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason for this. There's a reason education it's sucks. Is, and it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. Mm -hmm. They they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. That's why you literally can't get an apartment on a regular job now because it's just too expensive because the people everybody's a shark you know like everybody's trying to make money so COVID hit everybody's numbers went up when everybody knew everybody was making less money during COVID during COVID they were making money after COVID they weren't once they raised the price now people can't afford to live it's hard I tell you them stimulus checks were for a reason yeah yeah it's crazy Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept yep. all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, yep. the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now that Yo, this aged so gracefully. Oh my god. I know I've talked a lot in this one, but yeah, this is 
because even now this is way more relevant than it was even at that time like yeah oh my god yeah i mean it's real talk i i've always kind of thought that about education i mean if you think about it, it's a business and you gotta if everybody graduated smart then everybody would be successful they don't want everybody to be successful because then we wouldn't have workers mm -hmm. you gotta have soldiers bro you gotta have soldiers the army got soldiers you think the masterminds are getting bullets whizzing past their heads absolutely not they sitting in the office somewhere pushing a button and i'm not even saying that politically because this isn't i'm not even playing into politics when it comes to this like obviously that has a factor but i'm not even saying an opinion about that i'm just talking about the state of business which obviously involves some sort of politics definitely affects everything man consumerism is a I'm real sure, thing though, if we had run it differently it would have came out differently i'm sure like we could run a world where everybody is successful or at least run a country where everybody is successful like we would just everything would just be ran differently like your daily to day basis would be ran differently you maybe you don't have to go to the grocery store because you'd be smart enough to like create some type of system where i don't know but i'm just like i think it would be it wouldn't be a bad idea if we had a country where everybody was like in a way successful or yeah it's like independent or or in, you know whatever to some extent yeah Not i mean workers I or soldiers for sure i mean i think like a lot of places just have like um i guess like let like you know the less classism i guess that you have with like where it doesn't distinguish rich from poor as much is probably more like that i guess to an extent but quality of life and people being happier i think the biggest problem is is that it's difficult to be happy when life is hard and i'm not saying that as like oh a privilege like life is hard in america i'm not saying it like that i'm saying in other places you can do you, you can have less but be happy you know what i mean like sometimes that's understandable like sometimes you don't want to you know have a bunch of stuff and you just want to live a minimal lifestyle and you just don't want to have to, you know, bend over backwards and kill yourself to do it. But a lot of people have to do that because... But is that making them... Is that putting them in the category as dumb Americans? I mean, I think, I think so. that could happen anywhere. I don't think that's just an American thing. Like, uh, any place that has class systems, I think, is going to deal with that. Like, I'm sure the UK deals with people that, you know, got rich people, poor people. But that's because we have this education system where it kind of, like puts us and it separates us when we go through all that. Some people can't even go to school, so then that puts them in one category. And then the ones that go to like private schools put them in another category. Yeah. Public schools in another category, homeschool. And then and then you're just in these different lanes or whatever and then you're in a class now. But yeah. If we didn't have none of that and we just started fresh and everybody's in the same type of system. Right. It might be a whole different ballgame. Yeah, I think it's just probably best everybody creates their own lane and tries to, you know, thrive off the community that they're in and build that community up and, you know, support people around them and then grow from that. That keeps things, I guess, like, more in home, you know? Yeah. It's like it, people could be villages, but it's not that easy. If it was, then it would be, I guess. Coming for your Social Security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. And by the way, it's the same big club they used to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people. White collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue. <laughs> these are people of modest means. Continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a f about them. They don't give a f about you. They don't give a f about you. They don't care about you at all. At all. But at all. on the flip side of that, a poor, poor person wouldn't either. So. Oh. Man. Because you know? they would be rich in that position. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on. The fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant of the big red, white, and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day. Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream. Because you have to be asleep to believe it. That's fine. That's a bar.
Drop a like, George Carlin. It's lit. That was some real ish, though. Yeah. We out.